guys and welcome to Dollywood. It is opening weekend. It's actually Friday pass holder opening day and we are going to walk through the park and show you guys all of the new things. Eh, probably some of the new things. We don't have time to do all of them and there's a lot of new stuff here. But we're going to walk through the park and show you some of the new things they have here at Dollywood for the 2023 season. You guys ready? Let's go do this. So the Christmas shop that was right here is no longer here. They've moved it up the up the hill. And now this is the Butterfly Strings Music Store. It looks very busy in here, so we're just gonna take a quick walk through, see what it looks like. They've turned it into a basic merch shop. They do have uh, some Dolly t-shirts, Dolly hats, Dolly coffee mugs. But I do see they have the Dolly Funkos here. There is the Dolly Funko Pop. Now, there are two different ones. They have an exclusive one, which I do not think that they have here at Dollywood. And then they have the regular one, which is the orange one. Just trying to see how much this is. There's no price on it. Probably 15, maybe 20 bucks. But yeah, this is the new store. So this used to be a Christmas shop. It is no longer a Christmas shop. Oh, they've got, uh, there's something kind of cool. They've got some Elvis shirts, a Willie Nelson shirt, a Charlie Daniel shirt. So here is some of that new stuff we were talking about that they've got over here. There's a Willie Nelson t-shirt. They have two Willie Nelson t-shirts. A Charlie Daniels band t-shirt. There's another one right down there. All right, so that's a look around inside one of the new shops here at Dollywood. They do have another photo op right here. It's the Dollywood Parks and Resorts 50th anniversary of I Will Always Love You. And this is just before you go under the train trussle right here, going up into Craftsman Valley. So it's a great photo op. You can stop, take a picture right here at Dollywood. Here's your, oh, look at there, there's like chicken family. Oh, yes, there it is. Yes, sir. Oh, your baby doll. She's got some for you. We want to wish you today. So we are right outside the Cozy Bear Cove. You can see it right there. There's Brian. Hey, bud. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I am wonderful. Dollywood is back open. It is opening day, and uh, life is good. I'll say it's a nice day. The rain held off. It did. So it's sunny today. So right now it's sunny anyway. All the rides are open except I don't know if Mystery Mind. It was down earlier this morning. So okay. Other than that, I think everything's up and running for us. Yeah. So it's opening weekend here at Dollywood. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be up here this weekend or next week because next week is spring break for a lot of schools. So uh, we're gonna show you around, kind of to show you different things here in the park. And one of the things is you can see right behind Brian's head there is the Cozy Cove, Cozy Bear Cove, easy for me to say. It's still a Squishmallow shop. It's still a Squishmallow shop, so you don't have to worry about that. But directly across from the Squishmallow shop is now the new Christmas store. So you can see right over there, that is the new Christmas store. The Christmas store used to be down next to one of the theaters, but they have moved it. Uh, so in this video, I showed you the new record shop and the record shop used to be the Christmas shop and now this is the Christmas shop up the hill. So we're gonna walk over there and show you guys the new Christmas shop here at Dollywood. We decided to dip in the into the Squishmallow shop here because they have new Squishmallows from last season. Jen found these. It's a little cell phone. It's a little cell phone and a little, like a little Game Boy there. TV camera and then they've got all these in hoodies it's a shark in a hoodie a pug in a hoodie so yeah the squishmallow shop is still here oh it's a lava lamp yeah look it's a lava lamp and its name is adele how awesome is that so yeah the squishmallow shop is still here still open and they are still selling tons of these things i'm sure otherwise they would have closed it so uh, if you need a squishmallow want a squishmallow this is a great place to come get one so here is the new Christmas shop. So the Christmas shop is much bigger than it used to be. Looks like it's basically gonna be the same things that they had previously in the other shop. 
Now the one thing that I do not see is the personalized Christmas ornaments. So maybe they have, oh, nope, they still do it. They're back here on the wall, I just missed them. They're right back there. It's always a fun thing to do. Yeah, so it is just a bigger shop. Gives them a little more room to work in. Uh, I know they sell a lot of Christmas stuff here, and obviously the Christmas festival they have here at Dollywood is one of the better festivals they do throughout the year. It's one of the most well-attended festivals they do. So it makes sense they would give them a little more room to do a little more Christmas stuff here at Dollywood. Nice. So we just walked through Craftsman Valley. Not a lot of new things in the Craftsman Valley area, uh, other than the Christmas shop and some of the new Squishmallows, but that's not really a new thing. So now we're walking up towards the top of the hill towards the Blazing Fury and the Tennessee Tornado. And uh, we'll go see if we can find anything else that's new. I want to show you guys my shirt. So if you don't know Dolly Parton, her official title here at Dollywood is Dreamer in Chief. So I took the Dunder Mifflin, the office logo, uh, kind of changed it up, reworded it, and redesigned it and did the dreamer in chief and it says assistant to says amusement company across the bottom of it there if you want one of my shirts i'll drop a, a link in here and you can go buy one if you want if you don't want one that's fine too but i liked it so i bought them i made them you know easy peasy so like i said it is pass holder day but uh, they did allow gold and diamond pass holders to use their bring a friend passes and so it has been a very busy day here in the park uh, for a pass holder day they still have the food truck park it is right back there doesn't look like that's any new food trucks same ones we had last year but still food trucks I believe this might be some new merch. Maybe. Good looking logo either way. This is up uh, near the Fire Chaser Express. It's a little uh, store right outside of the Fire Chaser Express. So surprisingly, the uh, River Rampage and Daredevil Falls are actually both open. So opening day, March 10th, and they are open. Uh, it is not warm enough for either one of us to try it. Uh, Jen and I both are not going to ride those because it is not warm enough for that. But there are people riding them. So uh, if you're coming this weekend and you want to hop Pass on the, the water rides, <laughs> be my guest. Just be prepared to freeze the rest of the day.